All right. So today we're going to be looking at the DC air pump for the greenhouse for the aquaponics to aerate the tanks and oxygenate the water more, um, which is beneficial for both the fish and the plants, actually. So this is a basic, cheap little semi-commercial unit um, designed to run off of 12 volts. So I've got a 24 volt battery here and a 24 to 12 volt step down converter. So we'll take a look at what's in the box here. So supposed to come with a piece of tubing. Yep. All right. It's got all the adapters and the fittings here. So goes from a what quarter inch tube or so to a six model six piece manifold. So I've already got this tubing and air stones to hook this up in a little while. For now, we just want to look at vibration of the unit and noise. We know power consumption is supposed to be at about 35 watts, so that should be okay. This should be secure enough to not need clamps. Um, could always dip it in warm water to expand, get it to fit on there. But this is the all important part. And I'm gonna stick it on a piece of wood primarily to see how loud it is for one and how much vibration there is for two because we got to figure out whether or not we need to build a support for it so let's do this okay And my child might be in trouble. You all right? You're okay. She's okay. Actually, maybe this will work. Yeah, still not great. I think that'll be good enough. I'm just gonna fold them back. The idea is just to be able to stick it inside a Wago. Which, if you haven't used Wagos yet, you are missing out. Ow. <laughs> Alright, so... There's honestly no easier way to manage wire connections than these. When you need to be able to swap things in and out, or you can shove these in your electrical boxes instead of wire nuts. <clears throat> Alright. So we're going to have... Where are we here? Alright, this is odd. Do we thread it in here? It looks like, oh no, dirt. There we go. There's our threaded connection right there. Let's be a little smarter than the gadget here. I don't know that I'm gonna need Teflon tape on there either. We should be okay without it. All right. Now we are ready for noise. And vibration it does have some screw mounts so it can be secured to whatever surface it needs to be on so if I do need to build a little box for it at least I can secure it all right we ready oh yeah vibration is definitely happening but air movement okay noise is gonna be audible that's not gonna be fun um, I guess I'll build a sound proof fish enclosure for it but I think this is gonna do the job so this pump was 30, 30, 40 dollars somewhere in there. So, but that should be enough to aerate two IBC totes and a solids barrel, and hopefully run for years. So that's all I have for today. Okay, so this is by no means final, but I'm sure you can hear how loud that is. So I've wrapped it in a uh, you know bubble pack there in hopes of. Uh, Maybe cooling some of the noise from the outside, but we're gonna have to work on that. Other than that, the output, the air output is fantastic. The uh, tubes are actually floating because of how much air they're putting out. So I may look at some bigger air stones, but we've got two tubes in the top tank, two in the bottom tank, and we're able to put two in the solids filter as well. So with all that said and done, everything should get properly aerated and we should hopefully see more explosive plant growth from highly oxygenated water. So. Stay tuned.